Hello, Phil at digitaldjtips.com, and I've got this. It's the Magma Laptop Stand 2.1, and it is a, a laptop stand with a few twists and turns to it. Let me just talk you through them. This whole bottom section, which has got foam on the bottom, is nice and thin, so when you've got it flat on a surface, you can put other gear over there quite easily. But even, even more innovative, the whole bottom section comes off. You unscrew these, and then by using these clamps, you can clamp it either to the back of your desk or even to the vertical part of a flight case. So that's a useful addition to any stand. Also, these parts here loosen on both sides and then this area here lets you make it higher or lower by about five or six inches. Again, a little bit more flexibility there than most. The top part here has got this little shelf at the front that pulls out like this, you see? So now you can have your laptop on the top and you can also have something else there. So let's get it set up and I'll just show you a little bit more closely some of those things. So the two things I really wanted to point out about this stand were the laptop shelf here has these lips here which are fine but only if your laptop is quite flush here. If you have any kind of rise, it can rise over the top of those lips and it's like that on my Sony Veo. So just be aware that that happens and if that was the case on your laptop, this wouldn't be the right choice for you because it wouldn't sit snugly against there. Also like any U stand, any sideways U shaped stand, there's wobble in there. You get that on all of them, right up to the most expensive. If you don't want that, you just need a Z stand uh, and actually they make a, a riser stand that's kind of like that as well, this company Magma. But that is always going to be the case with a stand like this, but particularly in the case of this one, because of this platform at the front, where you can put a small controller, an Akai LPD-8 or something like that, or in this case I've got a little Behringer a Micro, but again, there's going to be wobble in there, so you're going to just either have to get used to that. It's not going anywhere, it's all completely stable, or rather it's all completely fixed, but it isn't exactly stable there, you know? However, when you put the clamps on it at the very back, that makes it considerably more stable when you clamp it to a table, because there's one third of the U shape, if you like, has been taken out of the equation. So I actually really like this stand. Um, it comes with a bag like this that it folds down into. It's a padded bag, it's got a zip on it. So it's just as easy to carry around as other bags. Maybe not quite as lightweight, not quite as tiny, but what you're getting is that flexibility. You're getting the adjustment up and down. You're getting the extra shelf at the front if you want it. And for all those things, especially for the price, it's not particularly expensive. It's definitely one to consider, especially if you do have a controller like this or a pad controller or a sample controller or something else on the front, because I haven't seen an another design that's quite like that. So that is the Magma Laptop Stand 2.0. As always, you can read the full review on digitaldjtips.com. And if you like our stuff, come get some of our free DJ training at digitaldjtips.com slash join.